Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tool channel again and another episode of round function and formulas in Excel. So in this video, we are going to cover trunk function in Excel, which, which is very similar to other function we have covered previously, like int round function trunk derived from the word truncate. So its purpose is truncate a number to a given precision. So you are going to learn that in upcoming minutes with the help of two or three examples, which we are going to cover. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because we are going to cover each and every functionality of Excel in upcoming days, months or year. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we have a very basic sheet and if you want to practice it with us, then you can download the sheet following the first link in the description box, which will direct to our website. From there, you will find XLX file link under our video player. So here we have used same number, which we have covered in the previous examples of integer round and round because these are very similar just to cover the basics. So we are going to use the same demo sheet. So here we have a number in the negative form and we have a number in the positive form. So let's see what does trunk do. So here if we select a number, so it has two arguments and one of them is optional so here for the basics part we are going to just cover the first which is the number so let's just close it down so there we go so here if we apply to all so we get our truncated as you can see it doesn't round up or down like we have done in the previous video it's just truncate our or you can say a chop of decimal using this particular function and if you have a need of just truncated a number value from your worksheet then you can use this function trunk function also used with other helper functions to truncate a sentence using helper functions which we have already covered in previous videos which you can browse through our channel so trunk and round has a difference it doesn't round it's just truncate value it's just chop off all the decimal just straight away so as you can see 25.6 just give you the 25 59.4 it doesn't care about the decimal part it just give you the right answer and the next thing is if you want some decimals in your in your answer or your solution cells or column then you can specify as we have done in previous round round functions so you can specify the number of digits here so if, say if i want a three digit decimal digit so you can just type out the three like we have done previously and just click enter so there you will get your answer and if we apply to all so you will get your answer like if you want to keep any number of decimal in your worksheet same like if we just apply a two here so it will just return back our two places of decimal so it doesn't care about rounding of those numbers in your decimals it just gi give you a number with chopped off decimal values as you mentioned in your formula so hope you understand how you can use the trunk function so if you just want to get integer part of your number you can easily use this function like just like that so it you should not get confused by the word integer just use this so it will help you to get the integer value or you can say integer part of your de decimal value and the one thing is if you want only the decimal part of your values then then the formula is very straightforward see you need a decimal value so what we need to do is we need to subtract this number from the truncated number right so truncated number will be 46 and the whole number is 46.037 and so on so the largest number will be the 46.3037 so it will be subtracted from the truncated number so truncated number will be the same like this and just close it down so you will get your answer here only the decimal part so there you go so that's how you can get decimal part of your number using trunk function here in the next part we will explore how to remove time from our timestamp so uh, we have done this with the help of integer function which is int covered in the last video so you can also use the trunk function to remove the time from your date 
so how you can do that just straight forward so there we go so you have just removed the time from your timestamp which included your date and time so just like we have done in the integer you can change the formatting here like this just delete the hour and minute abbreviation from your format cell structure and click ok so there we go you have deleted your time from timestamp easily so hope you understand how trunk function actually works and where it works you can also trunk any sentences which we have also covered in the different video you can browse through our channel so you can use trunk function using helper functions like left middle and choose function to trunk some part of your text in your worksheet so if you are interested in that do sub browse through our videos or you can log on to excel.net from where you will find those videos so if you have learned something from this video then please click the like button and if you want to know something more about trunk function and if you have some queries you have a comment box with you and if you want to share this to your click friend or social media handle you can use the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye